Yo, what's up? All right, I'm doing a quick uh, product review here. Uh, <clears throat> I was shopping around for flashlights and finally found one that I thought would do the trick and it's because I used one at a friend's house. So thanks Chad for uh, showing me this thing. I didn't know it existed. <clears throat> shopping for flashlights. I kind of wanted the, uh, uh, the Icon one from Harbor Freight, but this ended up uh, being the one that I, pull the trigger on well for one uh harbor freight doesn't have any of those icons those little stick flashlights you know they're on sale for 30 bucks or whatever they didn't have any of them so anyway we used this one and I'm, i was looking for an under the hood flashlight for working on cars and it's uh it's magnetic so you know all those stick flashlights i don't know if i have one but you know like a regular flashlight you stick it to something and then if you move anything and it falls off and it's only pointing in one direction uh, wanted something a little bit different and to get away from the pen style flashlights that throw a beam or, a, you know, just a circle at something that you want to look at. This is a floodlight, which is, uh, I guess would work, you know, it seems like it would work better for, uh, under the hood. So let's pop the thing out of here. Like I said, I already used one, so I know it works. I didn't use it for hours and hours and hours to test you know how long the thing runs for but i don't really care uh <clears throat> i did the cordless wireless you know all that stuff since back in the day 80s and the 90s and of course it never really worked that well back then i know they're a lot better now so if this thing works any better than old school flashlights i'm cool with it this must be childproof because i'm not getting into it whatsoever well hey this video can be about how to get into one of these packages since I clearly can't figure it out I would definitely probably wouldn't use a blade but I like to keep a few of the fingers that I got but yeah I used this thing at uh, Chad's place we were working on the Altima and he popped this thing out and I was like you know whoa what's this a cool new flashlight that and I saw that it ran on the batteries that I have. I've got, uh, I don't have, like, I'm not a, a complete Milwaukee fan buff, but I do have uh, a soldering gun. I've got this radio. Uh, what else have I got? Well, I guess that's the only two tools that I have. And they both are the M12 whatever. And I know there's a bunch of different batteries and stuff you can get for them, but I usually just get the ones that come with the tool because everything I've had so far came with a battery. This was the first thing that didn't have a battery with it. So I kind of just use what I got. All right, I think I got into it. There we go. This might work. All right. So here the damn thing is. I was kind of hoping it had like little detents in there to move this around, but it does not. No big deal though. Let's throw a battery in it. See what it does. Where's the on button at? Right here. All right, so it comes up slow. What's that? That's like a charge port. So you just, all right, that's low, off. So high, low, and off. Cool. All right, let me uh, click the lights off real quick and we'll check out what it actually does. <clears throat> oh, and uh, instead of putting it in the description, I'm not sponsored by them. They don't give me free stuff. I sure as hell wish they did. I don't have... Uh, affiliations with anything so i'm just showing you the videos of the stuff that i use on the day-to-day -day that works for me so let's crank the light off oh shit let's see if it'll light my dude up here oh hell yeah Yeah, no, if it'll do that, I mean, I'm happy. And that's the, I still have light coming in from, hang on. Let's make it totally dark in here. 
All right. Lights totally off. This thing puts off all kinds of light. <clears throat> I don't know. I watched some kind of reviews and stuff. People were getting bitchy about uh, the fact that it's 700 lumens or whatever. Like, uh, <clears throat> I know there's a war of flashlights of who can have the 8 million lumen flashlight. But uh, as soon as you catch that thing in the eyes once, you're dead. So I don't know what sense that makes. Um, anything better than the old, like, halogen style uh, uh, flashlights. Uh, I remember the old mag lights from back in the day. Like, with a fresh set of batteries, they were great. And they worked just fine. This is a different level. This is a different color of light, different type of light. In a nice flood. Turn that back off. As you can see, it's basically pitch dark in here. You see my skeleton dude lit up. And this thing, and that thing's old too. So the fact that it came back around that well. That's pretty crazy. See, it, work, it just works. So what else do I use in here? Oh, I've got, this is my other, my other Milwaukee tool, the headband one, which works great. It's not a rechargeable thing, so it's, you know, you guys use them. It's a two or three triple A's go in it and it mows through them. I think this, I think this thing was, you know, 30, 40 bucks and I've probably blown a couple hundred dollars worth of batteries through it. So the fact that this thing here runs on some batteries that I already have and for the soldering iron that I have and the radio, like when I plug one of these into the radio, it'll play all day long, 10, 10 hours of radio out of it, you know, not like jamming it at top level or anything, but just listening to a ball game or something. It's a uh, all day long. And these batteries are like one of them is a 1.5 amp hour. And then the other one that's in there is a two. So just kind of whatever comes with it. I don't care. I don't need to hang a, gigantic battery off the end of this thing you know that would be probably needing to step up to a different flashlight if i needed to but i don't know if this is a flashlight or not i guess it is it's it's doing floodlight stuff i mean it almost it's almost light the whole garage up definitely be good for adding this as a light under the hood because i got a job coming up where i'm going to tear that uh the silver car i call him hank but uh I'm going to put a timing chain set and a whole bunch of new stuff in that car to kind of salvage it and keep it from, uh, you know, having to end up at a junkyard somewhere. But uh, I wanted an extra light. I've got some overhead lights and uh, headlight. And then I wanted this to be something I can stick somewhere and uh, and get some light so the camera so I can see what's going on and the camera can also see what's going on. So two birds with one stone kind of thing. And when I use this on the uh, uh chad's ultima here a couple of weeks ago like it just seemed cool and i didn't even know that i mean i just set it down and it stuck and i was like all right well it's runs on batteries i like puts off a decent amount of light and uh and it's magnetic because i've got a uh, regular old school like a uh, uh, plug-in tube style lights to go up underneath the car with and uh it's always rolling around in the wrong spot it's always if it's not in the wrong spot it's right in your eye and it just doesn't doesn't do what it's supposed to do so and it's old and it was time for something else so let me charge dude up again here and i'm not sure this battery i have in here is even fully charged or not it's just the one that was sitting there yeah dude's lit up like a christmas tree pretty cool for me it's working good let me crank the lights back on the actual lights <clears throat> So, yeah, I mean, that's all I got for review. I think it's cool. Uh, it looks pretty portable. It's made out of that pretty decent plastic. Looks like it could take a beating. I don't know about the lens, if it's all going to haze over, or get all scratched up all fast like some of the other ones do. But I think this one will work for me for a while. It's awkward. I mean, it's odd. There's just something weird about it that, I don't know, it's just because I'm not used to it, but it seems to work good. And uh, I'm going to use it on this job and see if I can catch some footage and uh, actually see what I'm doing and get the job done. Between this and the headlight and uh, some other lights and stuff I got, I think it'll light it up pretty good.
might do another trip back to uh, Harbor Freight when they get those flashlights back in. I might do one of the stand up, uh, you know, those uh, floodlights, the, well, I can't remember which ones they are, but it's, uh, you know, the ones that go on a tripod and there's like a couple of 4,500 lumen. Whatever, we can do the lumens thing to death. I'm not exactly sure who measures lumens with what or what the hell a lumen actually is, but I just use the lights that work for me. So I don't care how, if it has two lumens and does the, and I can see fine with it, then I'm cool with that. I don't really care what it is. This says it's 700, you know, whatever. I'll believe that, I guess. <clears throat> that's what it says on the box, right? So got to roll with it. Either way, that's all I got for this thing. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to put it to work and you'll probably see it working in the next video. Later.